Okay, in this post, um, what I'm going to do is just quickly talk about, you know, when you really want to improve your golf game, you know, what's involved, what, what do we need to do, where do we need to get our heads. You know, when you set out to make improvements in your golf game, there's often the challenge that your game, you know, begins to get worse. Of course, that can be frustrating. You know, you think you're going to be improving your game, and then all of a sudden you find that you're playing worse than you ever were before. You know, because of this frustration, many amateur golfers lack the patience to hang in there and get the job done. And this, in effect, puts them back right where they started. And from that point, the old habits creep back in. And because these habits are, you know, they're comfortable, one begins to settle. You know, you often hear on a golf course, you know, my game's fine, it's all right where it is, I'm okay, you know, I can go around relatively decent, and so on and so forth. But, you know, you really stop improving when you settle. And that, in effect, really brings about mediocrity in your game. You know, because mediocrity is all about settling. You know, and in effect, it's about being stagnant, right? Because mediocrity is all about repeating problems as opposed to understanding them and resolving them. So problems, in effect, when they're not understood, keep repeating themselves. When they are completely understood, then they stop, you know, basically repeating themselves. So if you really want to improve your golf swing, you have to understand that your game may very well get worse before it gets better. Your key to success lies in patience. You know, the key to success also lies in taking on the challenges that will be presented to you. Because if there's one thing that I can tell you, it is this. Life, golf, they're all very much alike in this respect. Every day in life, you'll be presented with challenges. Just like in golf, every shot you play will present challenges. And this, in effect, will be the test of the depth of your character. Failures are only a problem if we fail and do nothing else. On the other hand, failures are opportunities if we understand them and get it right. So to really improve your golf game, to really improve your golf swing even, just understand that it takes due diligence. Then with some hard work, you know, your game will dramatically improve. What I also want to point out to wrap up this video is you just basically need to observe your game as you play it today and over the next coming days and, of course, throughout your golfing career. Because effectively you want to uncover the challenges that you are presented with in your game. Once you have that information, you can now address those challenges and make the necessary improvements. In effect, as you track your game, you will get information. But that information will be useless until you apply it. Once you do, it's now knowledge. If you're consistently missing the fairways right, there's no problem with that. In effect, right? Because you know you're missing them right, you now understand the problem. You probably have a slice. Right? And if, in effect, that's where you're going to need to make changes. So really, what it boils down to is the key to your success is knowing what to improve. Once you do that, your game inevitably will improve. And that's pretty much for it for this post. Talk to you on the next one.